All right, so we're charging here in Pismo Beach, and uh, I have some time to kill because the, the our Rivian is over there charging. So I just wanted to come and check out this side because they don't have gates. A lot of the times these things are gated, so you can't really come close to them. But I just wanted to come and see how one of these power stations is made up. So check this out, right? The transformer. This guy is bringing high voltage, like, I don't know, like a thousand, five thousand volts. I don't know, something high, right? Man, does it say here? It doesn't say anything. From thousands of volts, brings it down to three phase, right? And so then, uh, once it gets to three phase, and then that comes into this box over here, right? Uh, and this is just like a, like a panel. It's just like a big panel. It's got switches and breakers and all that stuff, right? And then it goes into these boxes and these are the actual chargers. So these are actual units that make three phase into DC, right? And then from there, so, so AC lines come in here and then from here it goes to the actual charging uh, pedestals over there, right? So these are the chargers. And there's two of them here. And then there's this one, charger ID, charger. I think these are just different chargers, different versions. So there's three of them. Uh, and there's, yeah. And I think some of them are rated at higher because some of those over there are 350 kilowatt and some of them are like 150 kilowatt, right? So I don't know which one's which or whatever. But then this site has an additional set of, um, equipment here and that's these what you're seeing here and these are tesla power packs so these are batteries right that's uh they look like second gen power packs right so i think these are like i don't know two megawatt i think each or something right so maybe that's like four megawatt hours and then this big box over here it's an inverter so i think what happens is that these are just batteries so you need an inverter, charger, basically. This this unit right here makes them grid tied, right? It's like a like AC couple battery. What it means is that there's an inverter and it works both ways. It it makes the AC power and it charges those batteries. And then when those batteries, when you need the power, then it uses this inverter to make it into AC. Probably three phase um, AC, right? And so those. This is probably like a buffer so that if too many cars show up and we're all pulling too much, right? Like four cars at the same time pull up, maybe that can provide continuous power that all stations, you know, running at full continuous mode will serve. So then these serve as a buffer to then supplement that, right? And so I think this is how this is working, at, at least from my limited understanding of this works but this is pretty interesting because you know there's one like a really really big battery and it's basically it's here like this technology was really weird at one point like five years ago this was revolutionary like kind of unheard of and now it's like at every one of these stations this is just the electrify america station here but on the other side over there there's like 12 stalls for tesla and they have their own set of systems right there's another set of these boxes over there and they have their own probably battery and transformer and the, the whole thing this little site right here but this kind of gives you an idea why these sites are so um expensive because look at all the equipment that it takes to be able to just operate four high power stalls just to charge four cars at a time over there you need all this equipment and this is like in the millions <laughs> of dollars worth of equipment so it's pretty pretty crazy this is gorgeous it's quintessentially californian it feels really updated oh boy 100 horsepower and 100 pounds of the torque yes. it goes fast now <laughs> it's not as slow as it used to be wow and it's quiet and it's clean we open this one over right here so look how slick this thing is Ooh. This is electric? Yes. Yep. And it runs off the solar? Yes. That's cool. Fire, wire, surfboards. 
Yeah, well, this is a surfboard model designed by Rob Machado. But most importantly, it's EcoBoard verified by Sustainable Surf. The surfboard with this logo on it has a carbon footprint that is 30% less than a surfboard built with traditional materials. That's huge. What else is there to do when you've got an EV beach bus, cooler full of tofu dogs, and a full camera crew trailing your every move? It's time to hit the beach with my brothers and sisters and party and feed them and frolic and fly a kite. Party time. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Hold, on. Pull that up. You're going to have to push this one in. All right. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You know, oh, it's yeah. so great to have a GoPro on the rear view mirror so you literally <laughs> see f all. All right, so what do you think? Awesome. I loved it. I think of all the conversions, it's the one that I think uh, kind of took to it the best, maybe. By the way, it takes about 11 seconds to get used to it um, because I, I stole a school bus once. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I brought it back, so it didn't... I don't see what the big deal was, honestly. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm really happy it took the bump like that. That is very comforting. Look at that. Oh my you god. You are a professional. Are we there yet? You need another take on that? <laughs>